Hey guys, Toxic here. We're back in our Toronto Maple Leafs Speed GM mode commentary for NHL 13. And uh, yeah, last episode we left off, I just finished off the offseason. And okay, there we go, my controller is working. I thought it was off for a second. And we made some acquiring moves in the offseason. You know, we got, uh, oh man, what's his name now? Michael Delzado and a few other guys. So I'm just going to jump to the Ross moves because we're just going to set up the team pretty much this episode. And we're also going to. Go into the uh, season a bit, do a couple months of simming, and see how everything turns out. And I'll get you guys' opinions on the lines next episode. I'll look at them. So let me go to the roster moves here now. Let's check out the team here. So overall, so Gardner, I need you up here. Okay, so we got to move some guys down. So Martin, I don't need up here. Lawton, you can move down. Okay, so I got to bring up Gardner. Bratton, bring Okay, then I have to send down Lawton. Send the junior tips. So that works. Okay, Fratton, you're up. Colburn, okay, that's a, keep doing this over and over again. Colburn, get up here. Uh, who am I missing? Smithson, you can get up there. And or okay, let me go here. Let me get rid of King. Actually, I think that might be the whole team. Pretty sure it's everyone. Goalies, uh, Reimer and Howard. That works. Yeah, so we'll do the roster lineup here and we'll check out the line so Backstrom Kessel Perry uh, no I want it to actually do I want Kessel on the right or Perry on the right uh, Kessel what's he he's a right-handed player Perry is a what is Perry he's a right-handed as well so it doesn't really matter so I'll just leave it like that I guess if you guys want me to switch it around you guys can let me know below Okay, second line, I want Lupul, JVR, and, uh, oh man, who did I get for my, oh yeah, Matt Fratton, that was it. So, Fratton, and Fratton, um, yeah, I'm gonna put him up there. Who do I want in the middle, JVR, Fratton, or Lupul? JVR is 65 for face-offs, not the best. Fratton, what's his face-offs looking like? 61, not the best either. What's Lupul's face-offs looking like? 54, so, I think JVR had the best, um, just trying to think. I want Lupo on the wing for sure. JVR. They're trying to turn him into a center anyways. May as well make him a center. If you guys want me to switch it around Fratton or Lupo, you guys can let me know. Uh, third line. Let's see now. I think I wanted Bozak for sure in the center. Centering Solani and Kadri. Then down here, I want Hanzu. Centering Story McClement and Colburn. I don't even need... Uh, what's his face up here? Uh, uh, Smith said I don't even need him up here. Can trim away with later, or I can keep him whichever. Uh, defense, so I gotta put in Gardner now, okay? So now our defensive lines, we're gonna have Fanuf with uh, Del Zotto, that works for me for sure, 100%. And down here, I want Gunnarsson with Holzer and Franz and with Gardner, so there we go, our defensive lines are all set. Power play, I wanna have, yeah, that works for me, and then Fanuf and Del Zotto, that works. Then I want Franz and, and Gardner. And then I want JVR, Lupul, and Fratton. Ah, uh, Fratton, there he is. And I'll put JVR in the middle again, but I can switch that around if you guys want me to. Uh, Four-man power play, let's check this out. Uh, that's all good. This, instead of Perry, put JVR. Where is he? There we go. JVR. PK now. So I want Baxter up there. I want... Actually, how good was Baxter? He's actually pretty good. So Baxter's not bad with... I know Hansus is really good. Yeah, he was really good. So, Hans Zeus is a definite, more so a winger. Actually, he has better face-offs. Him or... He has better face-offs, so I could always toss Hans Zeus in the middle there. And down here are Clement and Perry. But Clement, yeah, he's really good. And then Perry, I believe, was also really good. Yeah, he's really good, too. So, there we go. And then, defensively, I want to have Carl Gunnarsson, because he's playing bottom six and not getting power play time. I want to play him on the top PK with Fidel to give him a little bit more experience, because I don't want him to drop too much. And then I want Del Zotto. Actually, do I want Del Zotto? Let's see. He's actually pretty good. How good is Franzen? Franzen's not the best, that's for sure. How good is Gardner looking on the defensive stats there? Uh, Gardner's looking a bit better, more well rounded, so I'm going to toss Gardner in there. There we go. And then up here, I want this to be Hanzus. Where is he? There we go. Hanzus with Clement, then Fanuf, and Gunnarsson, and Del Zotto, and Gardner. That works. Four and four, I want Baxter with Kessel for sure. Vanuf and Delzato, that works. Um, 
Franzen and Gardner with JVR and Perry. And then I want it to be... Uh, I don't want to run Kadri. Yeah, I can do Kadri and Lupul. That'll work. Where's Lupul? There he is. Then Holzer and uh, Gunnarsson. There we go. Extra attacker, Fanuf and Backstrom. That's all right. Uh, don't want to change it. To, nah, we'll leave it like that for now. And then goalies, I have James Reimer and Jimmy Howard, who I'm just going to switch alternating, you know, because I pretty much have two starting goalies. You look at them, their stats are pretty much the exact same, both starting goalies, and they're both still really young. Or, no, they're not really young. Like, Reimer's pretty young, but even Howard, though 29, is not super old either, you know what I mean? So, it's pretty good. Shoot, I want Kessel, uh, Backstrom. Yeah, that's all good. Everyone's there. I want to have. Okay, so now I'm back. And actually, I have to check the AHL lineup. I almost forgot. Okay, AHL. Uh, let's just do best lines for now. Let's see what it looks like. Carlson, I want him to play up. I want King to play up as well. Um, yeah, I don't think there was anyone else I really needed. Just those two guys. Uh, defense. Actually, I'll go back here and I'll put back in Ashton. I'll put him up top. Ah, there we go. Defense, uh, who was it? Was this, yeah, Tomaris was good. Percy was a good one as well. Bruce, was he good? I forget. Yeah, he was actually pretty good. Three and a half star. It's pretty good. Okay, now let's leave that. Let's do five on five lines and then goalies. Uh, I want, yeah, I'll take scrimmage as my starter in the AHL. So there we go. AHL team set, NHL team set, you know. Uh, while this is exiting, let me leave my mic for a second. I'm just gonna. Sorry about you guys if it cut out there. So I hit my uh, button a little too fast. But anyways, uh, I just had to get a drink of water there. So well, that's all done. Let me go to scouting now quickly. Let's get, do the scout report. See what everyone's looking like. So Sam Reinhardt's supposed to go first like he normally does. Uh, they also have Ekblad listed at 5 green stars. So if he is that, he's going to be a beast. Uh, Stu Dyer, I've never heard of that guy really. So he's probably not going to be a 5 star prospect. Uh... Pretty much everywhere, so I'm just going to go forwards in the Canadian leagues and U.S. and then defense in the Canadian leagues and U.S. and then goalies just because they seem they seem to be pretty much everywhere. Uh, goalies, yeah, see these top five goalies. Yeah, they're all, pretty, all over the place. Uh, so let me go scout assignment here. Let me do forwards in the WHL. Six weeks, that'll work. And, yeah, update scouting assignment. I'll just go through all the leagues doing that pretty much. Okay, so scouting's done. Um, is there anything else? Conjacts? No, no, no. Okay, nothing in here. Um, coaching options. So, yeah, I want to do this. Uh, so, let me make sure. Jersey number says, so make sure Fanuf is my captain. So, yeah, Fanuf. And then they have Kessel as an alternate and Perry. You know what? I'm going to. Do I want to change that up? Nah, that's fine. Actually, I'll leave it like that. That's all fine. Never mind. I was thinking of putting uh, some other guys out there, you know, like some veteran depth that Cam's use, but uh, I'll be fine with Kessel and Perry. Perry's old enough and Kessel's good enough, so there we go. Come on. Hurry up, game. <laughs> I didn't change anything. I just hit triangle. Come on, game. Oh, man. This, see, this is the problem on PS3. It takes forever to do stuff. Okay, so that's all good. Stat Central, don't need to check. Nothing like that. My NHL 13, let me check my settings here. I'm going to make sure injuries are off. Um, injuries, okay, so now they're off. Uh, assistant coach edit lines should be off. Yes, there we go. Back. So that's all good. Okay, so now that's all said, we can pretty much get into the sim. And we'll probably, looking at it, we'll probably do one, possibly two months of sim. And then we'll check out the stats. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I think I will do two months just for the hell of it. So let's sim up, uh... So the first game here, it's the Florida Panthers. There we go. Let's go up to them. And, you know, it's kind of convenient that uh, the NHL trade deadline is going to be happening on the day I'm uploading this. You know, for you guys, it's happening on the 3rd of April, which is the day that you're seeing this. You know, for me right now, I'm recording this on the 2nd. But, uh, yeah, the trade deadline, I think this year is going to be bigger than most. Uh, if you go back to the last lockout, I forget the exact year it was, but if you go back to that last lockout, that was one of the biggest trade deadlines in that little time right there. 
So I do think this is going to be a bigger one. You know, there's only been some big moves like a Ginla, Moro, uh, uh, Murray. You know, there's been lots of trades. There's some trades I heard today. I forget who it was exactly. Uh, oh, yeah, Yager. I think he went to Boston, I think. I might be wrong. I don't know. But, yeah, there's lots of trades going on a lot around now and there's gonna be a lot more on the actual trade deadline day you know I know Philly's supposed to be making some trades you know they're looking to get Brett Burns or Dustin Bufflin one of those big defensemen out there and uh, a bunch of other teams are trying to make a push for the playoffs and the playoff race is really weird right now you know because yes right now Philly is in 13th or something last I checked it but they're only like two points out of a playoff spot but they're in 13th so they win a game then they're in the playoffs, they lose a game, they're out, you know what I mean? So it's kind of just crazy like that, where they're one point, or one win away from being in the actual playoffs, and one win away, and one lost story away from being out of the playoffs, like many other teams, you know, you go look at the West, the West is the craziest place to be right now, you know, it's the one thing, uh, West has always been really tight with points, like between uh, 8, 9, 10, and 11th place, right, but uh, this year it's really crazy, because there's like four-way tie for eighth spot last I looked uh, a few days ago, right? So, eight, w eight ways high, you know, all those types of stuff. It's really, really nuts. So, I really don't know. Actually, let's let me check. Let's pull up my phone here for a second, guys. I'm going to go to the uh, Game Center app on my phone. And so let me check the uh, standings. There we go. Conferences. Okay, so the West. Right now, you have Chicago sitting in number one. No die, you know, they have that awesome win streak. But, uh, Anaheim's catching up, and then way, way behind. So those two guys are pretty much by themselves in their own little division there. And then way behind them is the Wild and Canucks with 44. The Kings have 43. The Sharks have 42. The Wings have 41. The Blues have 38, you know. Um, and that's your top eight, right? But then uh, place 9 and 10 are the Oilers and Blue Jackets conveniently the people that had the uh, top two picks last year, but they are only one point out of the playoffs this year, you know. Then behind them is the Predators. They're two points out. The Stars, they're only, uh, let's see now, they're only three points out, but they traded away some guys, so they're probably not going to make the playoffs this year. Phoenix, uh, yeah, they could still do it, but then after that, the Flames and Avalanche are pretty much done. No chance of them making the playoffs. Uh, going and looking at the... Uh, East, you know, you got Pittsburgh, who took that horrible injury. Like, they're on a 15-game winning streak right now. I understand that. But, uh, you know, Crosby's injured now, so hopefully that'll drop them. Not that I hate the entire Pittsburgh organization, but there are some players I wouldn't mind to see fail this year. Cough, cough, Crosby. Even though I am Canadian, but, you know, long story. Anyways, uh, you got the Canadians, who are the surprise of the season, sitting in second with 51 points, you know. You got the Jets, who are way behind with 38, but that's only because their division's not the best. Sorry, uh, whatever that division is. I forget their division name, but it's not the best. I know that for sure. Uh, Boston, they have 48 points, which is their, technically the third place. Then you have the Senators with 44, the Leafs with 44. The Devils have 39. The Rangers have 37, and so do the Islanders. Then you have a bunch of other teams. So Sorry, the Rangers are 8th, and the Islanders are 9th. They both have 37. Then you got the Hurricanes, Capitals, and Flyers, who are all... Three points out of the playoff, out of a playoff spot right now. Then you got the Sabers who are four points out. Uh, you got the Lightning, who are five points out, and then you got the Panthers, who are pretty much done this year. Uh, looking at it, it's probably going to be uh, Colorado and uh, Florida getting the top two picks, and then it'll be someone else in there to get the top two picks. And yeah, it's my little thing there. Sorry, I didn't realize the simming stopped. Probably <laughs> you guys are probably yelling at me, so. Uh, Let's get the simming going along here. Uh, let's do a month of simming. There we go. Actually, no, I want to do it by date, so let's go here. Let's do four, five games for each goalie. One, two, three, four, five games for James Reimer. Okay. And then we'll do five games for Howard. No matter what happens, I'm going to switch them, you know. If a goalie does start to do really bad, like they go 0-5 uh, twice in a row, like, two sets of five games, so ten games, and they go 0-10 in the last ten, then yeah, I'm going to not play that goalie as much, but you know, I don't plan for that to be a trouble, that's why I went out and got these two uh, awesome goaltenders, or got the one, you know, Reimer was already with the team, but I went out and got uh, Howard for that reason, because if Reimer, or Reimer sorry, starts to slack, then at least we have Howard to back him up, and vice versa, you know, if uh, Howard starts to slack, and oh man, <laughs> Reimer, back-to-back -back shutout losses, come on. 
That's not a good way to start the season. We started off with a win, but still. Anyways, if uh, Reimer does start to slack, which he is kind of doing now, let's just hope that's early season jitters, uh, then at least we have uh, Howard to step in and give uh, the team a hand. Because this is a pretty good team. I am expecting to go far with the team this year. It's supposed to, in my mind, this is going to be our uh, playoff push year this, year this year and next year, just because of all the free agency pickups we had in the offseason. You know, we had Del Zotto. We have Jimmy Howard. You know, we have Hans Deuce. We got Corey Perry now in the lineup. A lot of guys, you know, and lots of guys have gotten better, like Kessel got better, Baxter got better, JVR got better, Fratton was a big surprise, you know, a bunch of other guys, you know, and there were some disappointments. I'm not saying our team is perfect right now. Like Kadri could be a bit better. We could have him playing second line center, but, you know, stuff does happen. And, uh, yeah, and so far, uh, Reimer's not doing the best. 2-3, negative ratio. Let's try and turn this around. Let me go to edit lines here. Let me toss in Howard for five games, so let's see now, one, two, three, four, five games for Howard, see how he does, and man, Ryan played all home games too, goddamn, and you still go two and three, come on, let's just hope, it. like I said, it's early season jitters, let's hope it's that, and not something else in <laughs> Carolina, not after the best third, don't know why, but they've never been the best team in the game, even though they do have an awesome goalie, in Cam Ward, and Jeff Skinner is a prospect, you know, and even uh, Jay Mc McBain, so they do have some guys, but... I don't know. But yeah, so there we go. We got back-to-back -back wins now after we took a three-game losing streak. So let's just hope, like I said, it was just luck, you know, that Reimer was losing those games. And now that Howard's in the net, let's see Howard go 5-0. and Looks like the Flyers are already on top of that 5-0. and Frizz Galov, he's the champion this year, apparently. Come on, though, guys. Let's pull this off. Let's get a win against Philly. Let's end their winning streak. Will we? Oh, my God. We lose to them, too. God damn it. Can we just start off good for once? Like... I've yet to have a good GM mode. Any of my side GMs, and I know you guys don't know, but uh, I do do a crap load of GM modes on the side. You know, I've gone through at least half the league by now. And I definitely have never had a team that can start off the first month, like 15, or the first half of the year, 15 and 0, for example. Never had that. Never, ever, ever had that. I've had teams that can start off the first, like, month, and I'm at the like, first month, I mean, like, up to December, but yeah. Never had a team that could start amazing. Don't know why. Game must hate me. Even though I play it so much. Okay, scout assignments done. Let's do the scout here. Um, let me do forwards. There we go. Um, let me go to the OHL. Six weeks. There we go. Update. Scouting assignment. This is Howard's last game. So, Howard, too, though, is gone. He's 2 and 2 right now. Or. 2-1-1, one, one, so he's technically he's played better than Reimer. So if he can win this, then... Okay, yeah, so back-to-back -back shows for Howard. You know what? He had back-to-back -back shows. I'm going to give him the rest of the month these next three games because that's back-to-back -back shows. You know, you can't really deny a goal. I know I said I'd, I'd switch him back and forth, but Reimer wasn't playing the best. And on top of that, Jimmy Howard ended his little stretch here doing his best, you know, back-to-back -back shutouts. So got to keep it in there. And goddamn, JVR, look at that beast go on the second line. He's got nine points and... Uh, Eight, ten games played, you know, plus five. God damn, JVR could have a breakout season here for JVR. Never really had one of those with Philly or right now in Toronto. He's not really having a quote unquote, you know, breakout season. And there's another one for Howard. Good job, Howard. He's always been an okay player, like second liner, but he's never been good enough to be a first top liner. Like it, he's gonna be eventually, but you know what I mean. Everyone has had that breakout season, like Jake Voracek's having right now in Philly, or uh, uh, who is the other guy now? Oh man. It's like, there's prospects, though, like Tarasenko, for example, that are just start off with a breakout season, or like Ryan Nugent Hopkins, but, you know, there are some like JVR and Jakub Vorchuk and Sean Couturier. I know I'm naming lots of flyers, guys, most guys I know, but uh, they don't always start off with breakout seasons. They normally start off slow sometimes, and goddamn, I decided to keep Howard in and takes back-to-back -back losses. Oh, man, it's not good. Okay, so I'll, I, and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just going to do one month. Uh, check out the stats out now. So let's check out the stats. Um, team standings. The West looks like that. If you guys want to pause the video, the Eastern Conference. We are in tenth, but we're only one win away from being in eighth. You know, so it's not the worst worst story position to be in right now. Um, goals. No one's up there for us. Perry's leading the team though with six. He's actually tied for eight with Isn't bad. Um, assist. Um, no one's up there for us. No, they're not. Uh, Backstrom's two off of that lead. 
uh, points. No one's up there for us either. You know, JVR is kind of falling off. Yeah, didn't have continue his little stretch there. Wins. No one's up there for us, I believe. Yeah, no, no one's up there for us. Howard's too off, but yeah, we've also played Rhymer for five games too. Um, save percentage. I don't believe anyone's up there for us. Uh, so let me get into the stat central here. Let me check the player stats. I know it's been one month, but uh, you never know. You know, you never know what to expect. But I'll check them anyways. Don't, we haven't played too many games, like 14, 15 games, I'm imagining. Yeah, 13 games, there we go. So in 13 games played, our goals leader is Perry with 6, you know, which isn't bad, I guess. Uh, JVR's got 4, uh, Backstrom's got 4, you know, Colburn 3, 3, 3, yeah, okay, and then, you know, the rest of our team. Assist leader is Michael Delzato, apparently. He's tied with uh, Nick Backstrom for the lead there, so good job. Delzato's playing good for sure as a defenseman, you know. Uh, Garner's playing pretty good too, JVR too as well. Uh, but one problem I'm having right here is where's Kessel and all this right here, you know, three goals, three assists, only six points in one month, you know, not really the best, like, Lupo's doing as good as him, Gardner's doing as good as him, he's a defenseman, Delzado has more points than him, you know, so, not the best start for Kessel, but I'll still keep him up there, it is, or it still could be early season jitters, you know, but Baxter is leading our team, almost a point game, not bad for him. Uh, Javier is right behind him at 10, and then Perry with 9, and then the rest of our team just kind of goes on from there. Um, plus minus, Kessel, okay, so Kessel is a plus 5, I guess, that's okay. Power play goals, Backstrom, shorthand goals, yeah, no, none yet. Game winning goals, they fixed this, by the way, in the update, uh, so JVR has, uh, two, or it's game time goals that it's not fixed yet. Yeah, I don't know, game time goals never work, um, in my GM modes, I'm not sure if it's just me, like, they always work in my Via Pro modes, or whatever, like, my side ones, but, never in here, anyways, jobs, yeah, so, none of this stuff really matters, okay, so, let's go down to the goalies, so, Armour has played a little bit less, but, if you look at the stats, though, Jim, Jimmy Howard, you know, it's just played way better, you know, a 1.86 goals against average, in more games played, too, he's got more wins, they're tied for losses, but Jimmy Howard also has an overtime loss, uh, goals against, he does have a bit more, but yet he's also, you know, he is playing more games. Uh, save percentage is also better, and Reimer's played less games, so you know what, Jimmy Howard is playing pretty good right now. Uh, James Reimer, hopefully, like I said, like, same thing for Kel Phil Kessel, sorry, it is early season, man, I can't talk today. It's early season jitters, and, uh, yeah, it, Howard's also got two shutouts. So, yeah, we'll back out of that. And yeah, guys, this is going to bring us to the end of this episode. If you guys want to make some comments uh, about the lines, changes I can make, or anything else, or some trades we should make, or free agency, if there's anyone you think about that might be left. And yeah, it's going to bring us to the end of this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.